Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Workado for beginners in 2024. So today, we're delving into Workato, which is a powerful automation platform that enables you to connect your favorite apps and streamline workflow effortlessly. Of course, whether you are an automation or looking to enhance your skills, Workato offers an intuitive tool to help you automate tasks and processes with ease. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and sign up or log in for your account or in your account or sign up for a new account. To do so, you'll need to go or open a browser. Here I'm using Brave for you. You can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open it, go to the CRL section here. Just type work arrow and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Just click on the search link, which is workarrow.com. As you can see, the modern leader of automation. Once you click on it, you'll find yourself in the home screen or main screen of Workado right away. So if you have an account, as we said before, you can just go here and click on login to log in into your account without any problems. Just click on login and you'll be able to log in into your account. You can even log in using Google, Slack, Salesforce, Office, Rike. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account, or you can log in, of course, in a normal way. If you don't have an account, you can get the trial as an example and start by entering your information and schedule a demo. And of course, once you click on schedule and demo, you agree to the privacy policy. So make sure to read it all before you are, like, as you can see, before you create your account so you understand what's on you and what is your rights. Of course, if you don't care, just whatever, log in into your account and you'll be good to go. So example, let's say we are trying to log into account, Google, here's my account, and yeah, continue. So you can use any of the those options so this user could not be found. Uh, maybe it's not the account that I created, it's not the Google account that I created my account with. So let's say, example, we want to request a demo. So here, I'll just go request a demo. So I'll just type my name as tester test. The work email will be this. And what are you looking to do? Just testing around this example. And click on schedule a demo. Please enter a valid work email. Ah, yeah, this is not a work email, of course. So you'll have to enter a work email. If you enter a work email, just click on schedule a demo and you will send you the instructions on your email on how to activate your trial right away. So for me, at the moment, I'll not be able to do it. But of course, as an example, we'll just show you the interface and what can you do with it basically. Because like I cannot show you more than that because it's an automation tool and you should automate whatever you want. Like I cannot show you how to automate some specific stuff because maybe that's what I want. So for you, you will have to automate the things that you want. So I'll show you, of course, the interface. So the interface will be something like that. As you can see, you'll be able to choose trigger and actions depending on whatever you want. And of course, as you can see, one platform for scaling, integration, automation, and AI at speed. So you'll be able to do a lot of stuff very fast. For example, I'll just go here to platform. And as you can see, we have here platform, how it works, why work out on pricing. So I'll just go to uh, how it works as an example. So as we said, you'll have to choose triggers and actions for your workflow. So for you, you will have to start creating a recipe, a recipe as it's called here in Workado or workflow, or you can call it whatever you want. But as we said here in Workado, it's called recipe. So you'll have to choose, first of all, your trigger. So triggers are conditions that prompt an action to happen automatically. And it can be scheduled, uh, move records in batch, and read from on-prem files. Like here's an example, the trigger in this example. So new lead in Marketo. And of course, then you will have to choose the action once this trigger is triggered. Like as example actions, there is a set of available actions for every connector. Actions can have multiple steps and multiply or multiple, sorry, conditions. So basically, let's say I want to automate something between my Telegram and Discord. So I can choose the trigger. Of course, I don't think you'll be able to do that on Workado, but you'll be able to do it in other tools such as uh, IFTTT, which is if then then that. You can use it in into uh, Gromate, which is make. You can use it in 
like Microsoft's Power Automate, you can use it in some other tools because this is like for businesses work. So I don't think you'll find Telegram, but I'm not very sure. So let's say I'm just giving you an example. It does not matter. So let's say, as we said, we want to automate something between like our Telegram and our Discord. So we can just go and create an automation. The trigger should be Telegram, as an example, and the action should be uh, the the action of the trigger should be like when I receive a new message in Telegram, and the action should be maybe post something in my Discord server. I don't know, maybe post the same message, post uh, a post, or just enter a message or something like that. So you have like an endless or an a lot of things that you can do depending on your specific needs. So make sure. As you can see here, they even show you like the trigger specifically. So as you can see, and you can do multiple actions even in one trigger. And it's simple to do. You can monitor leads from Marketo form. It's form, uh, of course, if form is the more request, you can add a lead uh, to Salesforce, outreach, notify CDR and Slack, include details and response within five minutes. If you want to schedule something, actions can be, it can easily have multiple steps with conditions, example also. And you have intelligence to do so. Winning new tickets created in Zendesk, as an example. So the, here, just giving you an example. So analyze tone of the, of the tickets. If this one is angry, mark as urgent. Immediately notify support rip. Allow rip to take action straight from Slack. As you can see here, powerful to do. So you'll be able to analyze products usage. Millions of rows uh, HR. If users exceeded plan limits of 10,000, create an uh, invoice in net suits of course instantly notify signed grip to reach out about upsell and add customer to appropriate marketing campaigns so what they're telling here as you can see they will show you like a small example of it how, how in here as you can see so here they're giving you the trigger of it the actions so like a condition if true or false like if yes it will do this if no it will do other things as you can see collab recipes or as we said intelligence to do so here they are showing you like the recipe for this, as I said, or as it's called in here. So you have the condition. If yes, it will do this. If no, it will just go down. And it's simple to do, which was the beginning of it, as you can see. So it will be very, very easy to use. And of course, once you create your recipe, before deploying it, make sure to test it through, uh, like to ensure uh, its functionality as expected. You can utilize the work Workado testing tools to simulate or simulate like the automation process and identify any potential issues, and debug your recipe by troubleshooting errors and refining configuration configurations as needed. Then you'll be able to deploy your recipe and start using it. And as you become more comfortable with Workado, you can explore its advanced features and unlock additional automation capabilities. Experiment with conditional logic, error handling, scheduling, and data manipulation to create complex and dynamic recipes tailored to your specific needs and yeah i guess like there you have it you've already taken your first steps into the world of automation with workado whether you're simplifying recipe uh, repetitive tasks uh, integrating applications or doing any other complex workflow Wor workado empowers you to achieve more with automation so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye